So as you know, our contracts are basically comprised of what you're offering, the deposit, the closing date, the pre-closing inspection, a number of conditions and inclusions. So having said that, from my past videos, you know that we have home inspection, insurance, inspection and financing, as well as a number of other things, septic, water tests, and condition to sell a house. So essentially, until all these conditions are removed in writing, you have diddly squat, to use a real technical real estate term. In other words, your deal isn't done. So do not go out, start buying cars, locking yourself into leases for houses or apartments. Do not do anything until the deal is 100% firm within the time delineation spelt out in the contract. If you find the delineation of time, say between the home inspection and the closing date is too tight, then don't agree to the contract to begin with. But the number one point to this video is do not commit to anything until it's a done deal. Additionally, as a side note, make sure that deposit is something fairly significant. There, therefore, if the purchaser does walk on closing date, day, which is fairly rare, at least you're left with something. Better to have 10 or 20 or $50,000 in your pocket than $1,500. Probably won't even cover the moving truck. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button below and the little bell symbol beside it. And if you have any questions about this topic, PEI in general, PEI real estate, put them in the comments below. Have a great day.